then I, we are here with uh, the Cassidy right at his studio. Okay. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, do you mind telling our audience uh, who you are, what you do? Uh, my name is Duke Cassidy. I paint, that's what I do. I love to paint. I, um, something that's, that I, I do uh, for two reasons. Um, that's why I get my that's why I get my basic cash from and then I train my children. So it's something I love to do. So it, it, if I wasn't making money from painting, would I pay this I would paint it. That's what I do. I enjoy painting. I really enjoy painting. I think that we live in a country where uh, people have no respect for hard work. My, my dad is Isoko. We are from our Ardell. I guess it's a cool not local government area. Um, but I was born here in Lagos in October 7th, day of October 1961. My mother, uh, Victoria Ayabea Sidere, who was married to my fantastic father, um, was a trader. I, I grew up with my mother, always selling things, selling stuff. Um, what what are you doing, sold? We had run um, an Ewa factory at the Bees factory. We sold food. We sold food and processed food. No, processed at the Ewa factory. Cooked food. So, when I was seven, my mom was selling wrappers, fabric. And at that time, my, my compound was, uh, my house was where they brought, as well, they brought, brought most of the struggle fabric into here. From, from the, my house that they, they, they divided them. You know. So, I, I learned a lot, you know. So now find out. Like yes, I have commercial but my mom, my mom sold. I sold. I carried plantain on my head from one end from from Oroju, back of Abuku, Oroju, Abuku, to Oroju, almost every the way to square. Mm -hmm. the, the American primary school, Marine Beach. Stack the papers, but this is a good part of my work. I stack my papers, I buy them, I really can't read all the things I buy. Dailies, newspapers. Dailies, newspapers, magazines, cut out from this, cut out from that. And I, it's something, this forms the body of the work that I'll do. And I, I have you this, get your inspiration I get, yeah, this, from daily this, materials. Well, if you buy, this is uh, probably July 29, a few days back, a few weeks ago. A few days ago. You know, when I buy this, I'm not, I'm not going to read all of this. I'm not, I, I don't write. I, I'm not reading for anything. I've been doing sort of things. I'm not you. Um, I, I, I've had to find it in the you know, last you know, like five months or so. Well. It makes no sense. I've been loving this country. That, uh, every day it just deteriorates. Uh, in the 90s, when I used to teach in the world set, you will show up more power. Then many years after now, that's how cheap. That's just how cheap. Then 95, uh, by, by, nine, by uh, I started working in 1995. But that's what we got in 95. Power has come, you know, we live in really much, much more darkness. And government spent money. And I can't understand what quality of energy to have in a country like ours. Uh, we are poor, uh, we are poor, we are just from all the schools on earth, whether it's Harvard, whether it's Cambridge, we've gone everywhere, but we've not borrowed any that is specific, specific to our country. So we live in a country that is poor, our economy is terrible, we, 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 run, we run a country on generator, only poor countries run their economies on generator. So India is a very poor country. What, what are you doing to address this issue? In my work, I, I've always said, Painting will never always be fine out for me. I'm an artist who lives in Nigeria. I live, I live under terrible leadership. I'm so, I'm so scared that they can't rule Nigeria. They are, they are, they are terrible men and women who run our country. So when you look at the Chinese and all the English language they speak, people who have run, uh, work in international organizations, they come to Nigeria, they become petty thieves. It's no country, no country should be run the way they run Nigeria. I think they just should be handed over to the government. 
Nigeria as a should be handed over to people who can run Nigeria. So let's let this support, let this, let this subject to a new ownership. It doesn't make sense. We, we pay our, our government officials, they are the most paid people on the, on, on the planet. But how do you contribute to your own quarter? My quarter is simple. I put my best foot forward always. I give it my very best. I paint with my soul. I paint with the depth of my energies. I don't play with my world. I'm very passionate. I think, I think that it's not enough to just live in the country. We have to bring our very best to bear. Basically, yeah, this is just like 5 a.m. This morning. 5 a.m. Yeah, I, I do my photography. You do continuous shots. I do while constant I'm... every day. I go while you're driving. Or no, no, I park. I park. I'm, I'm a street boy. I have a monopod. A monopod I could use to do harm to anybody. I have a monopod. So I, I'm ready. No, it's not I, I, I have no, nothing called. I do late nights. I do through all through through the nights. You know, I have a body of a body of lenses. 